For more than a year now, a reporter in Washington, D.C. has been requesting text messages and emails between Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner and people of political influence, including billionaire political donor George Soros. This reporter filed a lawsuit under the Sunshine Law, saying the office promised to get him the information, then later denied him. Now a judge has granted a default judgment. Greitens talked via Zoom with me today about this fight he believes will answer who was behind removing him from office. For over a year, she has ignored the law, and finally, the judge demanded that she turn over her communications. Two years ago, Greitens' criminal lawyers repeatedly alleged powerful people wanted the then-governor prosecuted. Kim Gardner filed an invasion of privacy charge after Greitens was accused of taking a picture of his blindfolded and bound mistress. Greitens told only Fox 2 this past February he never took a picture and prosecutors never found one. The case was dismissed. Currently, Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner's former private investigator faces perjury charges for his role in the case. Greitens has called it a conspiracy to overturn his 2016 election. Reporter John Solomon with a website called Just the News has been asking who else was involved. Missouri Attorney David Rowland filed a lawsuit to find out. My role in this case was enforcing the law. Um, you know, my sole interest was I looked at it. The circuit attorney's office was clearly not doing what they were supposed to. They've asked for Gardner's communications with attorney Al Watkins. Watkins released secretive recordings revealing Greitens' affair after accepting $120,000 in cash. Scott Fawn, a convicted felon who runs an online political website, he said the $120,000 was his money. Also, communications with lobbyists for the low-income housing tax credit, an industry that lost millions after Greitens eliminated the program. And George Soros, a billionaire who financed a committee that gave nearly $200,000 to Gardner's 2016 campaign. Tough on crime. And paid for this commercial. As far as the court's concerned, the circuit attorney's office did engage in four separate purposeful violations of the Sunshine Law. The good news is that ultimately he will get the records to which he's entitled. We still haven't to this day had the Missouri legislature do a full investigation of the people who paid over $120,000 in cash bribes to people who lied about me. So it's good that the judge has stepped in. A spokesperson for the circuit attorney's office said she would get me an answer, but we're still waiting on that answer. Open up the Fox 2 app and look for this report where you can read this default judgment and find out what soon may become public. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.